welcome to Let Me Bore You to Sleep. My name is Jason Newland and this is, well my website is jasonnewland.com and I've done the introduction all back to front. So, oh yeah, I only listen, only listen, when you can safely close your eyes. So I thought I would um, do a live broadcast as well, again a live stream on Facebook. In fact, I'm going to have to take my glasses off again because the light is shining. The light is shining my friend. Let me move the microphone a bit closer, that's it. So, it's a little bit later in the evening than it was yesterday. So, there's a good chance that I'm not going to have anyone listening. Because I think in the UK, a lot of people will be in bed. And in the other parts, maybe America, people will be at work. So, yeah, I think. So, uh, it'll be about 9 o'clock in the morning, I think, now. In America, I think I might be wrong. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I can't. I've, I can't look at my phone because I'm using my phone to record. In it, yeah. Using my phone to record. Usually, within a few seconds, I have people coming on it, but now. Nothing. There's no one on Facebook. Facebook is empty. It's like my brain. It's empty, my friend. It's empty. So, yeah. Hey. Hi. Whoa. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you're well. Um, oh. This is my second day doing tidying up of my home I say my home well yeah my home well, I do live here but I'm just thinking it's more a room that I've been focusing on but I did I did vacuum in well basically today yesterday I tidied I got rid of some stuff from the storage room got rid of some stuff tidied up a bit in here in the living room and then today I tidied up the storage room, did some vacuuming, so I cleared it all out. Not all out, but it made some room. Uh, and then I vacuumed through the hallway, the bedroom, bathroom, kitchen and living room. It was like the first part of the vacuuming because by tomorrow there's going to be more vacuuming to do. And then when I get unpack my other table, I might have a desk and put that together there's going to be more vacuuming because there's going to be polyfeed and stuff on the floor Shader, there you go so what I've done is I've moved all my hypnosis books on the bookshelf behind me uh, so I've got a bookshelf behind me and that's, that's the one I'm talking about not the one in front of me. But there is a one in front of me. But you don't know if you can't see it. But there is a bookshelf behind me. And still got no one watching on Facebook. I wonder if I've done it on the right page. I don't know. Doesn't matter really um, but there's no one here there's no one zero unless there are people but I can't see anyone it's not showing up that anyone's actually watching so it's good because then I'm not distracted by it so I should ignore the camera the reason I'm recording the 
recording myself making the podcast because then I can I can put that video upload it to YouTube. That's kind of one of the main reasons. So yeah. Um, oh yes, yeah, so I moved two bookcases because I had three bookcases in this room, one in a hallway. I got rid of the one in the hallway because that was falling apart. The two, I emptied two of them, which was the other side of the room, over there, to my left. Put them into the storage room. Uh, it's quite a big storage room. It's not like huge, but it's big enough to fit bookcases along the wall. So it gives you an idea. It's yeah, I could probably fit two bookcases along one wall, one and then another one on either the other side of the walls as well. Anyway, so I've got two bookcases in there. Oh, I've got itchy back. And I then removed all the books that weren't hypnosis books and put them on the bookshelves in the storage room. So the bookcases are full of books and a few other bits and stuff. I've only left the hypnosis books on the bookcase behind me. There's also a small bookcase under the punch bag, which is perfect. It fits just underneath. So it's like such a good fit. Now, I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest of the stuff. Because I'm thinking of moving the settee to the other side of the wall. But I don't know how that's going to work out, if I'm honest. Mm. Mm. I don't think it will. I don't think it's... Yeah, I don't think it's going to work out. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. Sure. Hmm. I could do a little bit more room. Or, ideally, cut the settee in half. Because I don't want two seats. No one comes... I don't... Even, unless it's... Oh, there is someone. Hello. Uh, eight minutes and someone arrives. don't know who it is, though. It's not telling me. This is weird. The screen isn't showing who's coming to the thing. There's no um, messages or anything coming up. Normally there is. Normally there's a few more people. Normally there's, it tells me who's uh, joined, but then they're gone now. Oh. Mm -hmm. Didn't like you anyway. Don't know who it was. If it is someone that likes what I do. I love you. I love you very much. Yes. So, try to figure out where to put the new desk. Well, they're both new desks, but one's up, which is I'm at it now. And the other one, I don't know where I'm going to put it. I'm either going to put it against the wall over there, or I'll put it against the other wall. Or put it back to front, back head to head with the one I've got now. So just be the other side of the table. So if there was someone sitting in the chair opposite me, they could see me. Which is a really silly statement. Of course they could see me. Unless there was like a, a desk divider, of course. So yeah, I'm just getting there. Get in there slowly. Oh yeah, I'd like to just have one seat, one recliner. I've got a double. It's, I mean, my friend gave it to me, so it's it's a big old thing. It's heavy. It's oh so heavy. But it's two. It's a it's a settee that reclines. Both seats recline separately. However. Unless I was in a relationship with somebody, a romantic relationship, that's the only way I'd have someone sitting next to me. 
there'd be no other reason. I mean, if someone comes up and wants to talk to me, I can't have them sitting next to me. I have to sit the other side of the room so I can see them. You know what I mean? So, um, and some people, do, and plus I would have to keep a distance. I don't want people close to me. Um, it's got nothing to do with the coronavirus. I just, I don't want people like right close to me. Just why, why would you want to? I mean, that's why I don't wash, so people keep away. <laughs> but, oh dear, that's wrong. Um, so, <clears throat> one seat, one recliner would be better because then that would cut the space in half that I'm using. Because I'm using two seats when I only need one seat. What's the point in that? Is there the it the int is there? The int no point. I thought it was a good idea at the time. Because I had a date with someone and she came here and she spent the whole evening sitting on the chair with me. So she was like perched on the the arm of this reclining chair. Then eventually she was sitting on my, on my lap. She didn't want to sit on my lap. She just got fed up sitting on the on the thing. And I think she forgot. To be fair, because my legs are so bony that I think she actually thought she was still sitting on the um, the armrest because my she thought <laughs> I'm gonna say she thought she was touching wood. No, but you know what I mean. It's in the this ah. Uh, Forget it. Forget it. So hello whoever's watching on Facebook. I'm thinking I might start streaming live to Instagram. And when I'm able to, possibly stream live to YouTube. But that won't be for probably a few months. Because I have to have a thousand subscribers on my channel and because it's pretty much a new ch well it's, it's a three-year-old channel but I've made no effort really to gain any subscribers because I just haven't I've been focusing on the podcasts so now I've uploaded pretty much all of my podcast episodes onto YouTube and I'm at like 538 subscribers. 540 yesterday, so it's going down. Going the wrong way, man. Oh well, I'm not that bothered, but it's... now at a point where I can start maybe uploading videos again which will grow the channel and then once I get to a thousand subscribers and I'm getting a, I'm getting I'm not far off the amount of hours uh, view viewing hours just to to become um, a partner in YouTube partner we're gonna get married I'm gonna marry you too yeah I'm gonna marry we're gonna get married we're going to Gretna Green we're gonna get married so I don't know once I do that hopefully that will open up the facility for me to do live streams on YouTube which means I will just use a different um, a different device so I've got my phone then I'll just use, I don't know, laptop or something to stream. Possibly won't be the best quality picture, but I think it's okay with a live stream for it not to be perfect. I mean, this isn't perfect, it's quite low light, uh, which is quite good for me because you can't see me so well. But it's a live stream, so I'm, I'm okay with that. I think, and it's still, hell of a lot better quality than the videos I used to do, blimey, they was awful, 
He was like really bad, man. The content was really bad as well. <laughs> the content was quite, it was okay. It was just the quality of the, the audio and the videos. Like, oh man, this is bad. Yeah, I had an audience, I had subscribers. People seemed to like what I was doing. Kind of ish. I think on my my best YouTube channel that I had, so I had a few. Um, I think I had about, according to what people have told me, because I forgot, they said I had about 3,000 subscribers. Which I know it's not a lot, but bloody hell, it was for me at the time. And I think I had, I had a half a million video views. And I was getting about 45,000 video views a month. And it was growing. Like every month it was growing more and more. So I'd hit that point where over, yeah, probably over a six month period it really started to grow. From like pretty much nothing to suddenly, uh, even though it wasn't a huge amount, but every time I released a video, I'd have hundreds and hundreds of views of the video. Now I know it's hardly um, top level success. I know that. I'm not even pretending. But I'll, I got a base. Um, I only really compete with myself. So for me, it's like when I'm competing with how. Uh, how many video views I got last month or last year, not how many um, PewDiePie or um, Jake Paul is getting, you know, because that's ridiculous. They're getting more in probably the first minute of releasing one video than I will get, that I probably had in a lifetime. And that's not even an exaggeration, you know. They, they could easily get like millions in the first few minutes. So I can't, I'm not even, I'm not even attempting to compete with what they do. Because I do different things. Plus different audience, I mean, I'm got, I think most of my audience are probably 93 to 100 age-wise. That's about the average audience uh, age for me. About 93. I'm going to sneeze. Oh, I'm going to sneeze again. Oh no, done. I pressed the pause button on the podcast, but I can't press the pause on a live stream. Oh, there is someone watching. Okay, so I just uh, pressed pause then. And I realised uh, um, I sneezed. And then I carried on talking and I realised I forgot to press the unpause. You missed some really good stuff. Anyway, uh, on the live broadcast, Rachel. Mr. Rachel said, hi, Mr. Rachel. Hi. So someone is watching. Someone's watching. Yeah, they are. Hey, Rachel. I dreamt about you earlier. I think I did. I don't know what you were doing in my dream. Rachel says, hi, how's your bum? Wow. Um, it's not the best opening, is it? Oh, that's, that's not a good... <laughs> I'm, I'm talking about an opening to a conversation. I'm not talking about my bum being not a good opening. Oh dear. Probably the wrong word, isn't it? You talk about your bum, you don't use the word opening. What I mean is, you know, a, conf a conversation starter. Elizabeth, Rachel, Rachel, Rachel. How's my bum? My bum's fine, thanks. How's your tits? It's only because you like talking about your bum. Sorry, Rachel. Uh, yeah, my, my, I don't like talking about, I've never talked about my bum in my life, ever. 
I don't know where you, where do you come up with this stuff? I'm a good boy. I've never talked about things like that ever. I was brought up proper. I have very good manners. Very good manners. Talking about my bum. Blimey. Give you an idea how big my ass is. Right. I'm actually sitting on the floor right now. I'm not sitting on a chair, I'm sitting on the floor. I'm taller when I sit on the floor than I am when I'm standing up. It's true. You can't see this, but the the ceiling's just about just above my head. Rachel says my tits are good, you lie. <laughs> I forgot, I didn't think you heard that. I never lie. I've always been honest to everybody about every single thing. I sat on the toilet. If you, just, you haven't sent me a picture because I can't see anything. I can just about see the writing. No one's perfect. No, I think... Um, yeah, I think I'm pretty perfect. I think, uh... <laughs> I'm a perfect little girl. So what was I saying? Um, Carol, hi Carol. Hi anyone that's listening. I don't know watching and stuff. So, tomorrow, I've got some other stuff happening. Was it shoot? It's Wednesday tomorrow. So it's Thursday. I need to get myself back and doing the other recordings. Carol says, "Oh, I might get some sleep tonight." Thanks, thanks, Carol. <laughs> um, I will bore you. Bore you're bored. I'm gonna do it. You're getting sleepy. Carol, you're getting sleepy. You're finding it hard to keep your eyes open. You're not you're not driving, are you? I should ask that first. Um, you find the lamppost moving closer to you. Um, sleepy, sleep. You know, I had a friend, right? This is totally true. Talk about um, good luck. I don't know, luck or whatever. He had, um, he was driving his car, I think he's in his early 60s now, but he's, he's, he's a really amazing bloke. He drove his car, he had uh, like a seizure, okay, or a mini stroke, they weren't sure, the doctors to be fair weren't sure, possibly a mini stroke. So he collapsed, unconscious, on the motorway, a busy motorway, crashed the car into a tree. Not a scratch. I think he sprained his wrist, that was it. Which makes you wonder what he was doing when he was driving. But, um, I don't know what I thought about, but blimey, you couldn't, but how did he, he didn't just survive it, he, he walked out, plus he was unaware of it because he was unconscious, but it's like, wow, the good thing is, he was being tested and everything, he couldn't drive for I think two years, now he's driving again, I think he's fine, so yeah, Elizabeth said, Rachel says, I've sent you a photo, okay, I can't see any photos. Actually, to be fair, I could just look at my, my iPad, couldn't I? I've been very lazy. Very, very, very lazy. <laughs> Let me have a look. What have you sent me? What have you sent me? Well, there's nothing. You ain't sent me now. Don't send me a picture. Oh, you should... Uh, Ugh. There was no need for that, right? Rachel sent me a picture of the toilet. 
I find that uh, new message request from, okay. Oh, okay. I'm going to read this out from Claire. This is a message I got on Facebook. I thought it was a, f uh, a friend request. I went in to sort of just check the person. Because I like to check if the person's a real person before I say yes. So I get, I mentioned this before, I get quite a lot of um, scammers friend request to me. So I had to just check. Um, but this is, a, this is a legitimate person. I think she might already be a friend. Claire, she says, hi Jason. I've been listening to you for many years. Wow. I've been listening to you for many years now and I love your let me bore you to sleeps. Sometimes you're so funny I laugh out loud. Would you ever think of doing stand up again? Uh, what's the story of the pink pig in the background of your live stream? I was very sorry about Andre. Um, thank you. Um, LOL. I like that. I like that. LOL. Or as Tony Blair says, lots of love. P.S. Don't say my surname. I know. Air okay. Thank you. So that's Claire Jones from uh, Swansea in Wales. Uh, 73 Edmonton Drive. Telephone number 07943 421 8762. 35458529 You know what? I normally don't say the surnames of people uh, because I try sometimes. Um, I kind of I've mildly progressed over the years because I think I used to say surnames, but now I like okay. Um, but what I also do is if I'm reading this, if I'm reading out a message. And someone's put personal stuff in there, like really, whether it's like personal, medical, history. You know, some people do say, tell me, you know, quite a lot of stuff um, in a message. I miss that out. So I miss out anything that's maybe not for public consumption, maybe. I think I've learned from Rachel, who's actually on here now. <laughs> Please, can you tell me my telephone number, but don't tell me when I've forgotten it. Yeah, it's 01723 and then it's 594342812 I'm purposely adding extra numbers on just in case, you know, because apparently, I might be making this up, I think it's true, is you, when there's a drama on television, and there's a telephone number comes up and you know, or they give the, and a num and they show a telephone number. People actually phone it, thinking it's real. And on one show, they used a telephone number, but it was a real telephone number, but they didn't realize it. And I think it was like a funeral parlor kept being inundated with phone calls from people wanting to, um, order chicken from the East Enders chicken shop. Something like that, you know. Oh, my, my knee. Um, okay, I'm gonna ask, answer the questions from Claire Jones from Swansea. It's not really. Thank you for your message. I'm glad that you like, I'm, well, thank you for listening for many years. I mean, you imagine many years I mean, just listening for a few weeks is a long time, isn't it? But many years, many years. Uh, sometimes, okay, thank you. Um, I think if I did, so please tell me what's with the sudden lives. Well, you know, I think during the coronavirus, people were bored, stuck indoors of each other, and probably... Um, consummated 
their relationships and uh, impregnated each other. And now, nine months later, this baby's being born. That's probably why there's so many lives. Is that what you mean? Or are you talking about the live streams? Would you ever think of doing stand-up again? I think I'd be better at stand-up than I was. I couldn't be worse. <laughs> I was pretty rubbish. But I still did it for seven years. Seven years of being rubbish or something. Uh, mind you, you could say I've been doing this for 12 years. No, fit, blimey, it's more than that, isn't it? Six, 2006, 2006, 2007, 2008, 2009, 2010, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So 16 years nearly I've been doing this. And blow me. So I don't know, I think if I was going to go back I'd rather do it with an audience that was there to see me. Uh, it might sound egotistical, but hell, it's got to be the best audience there is, isn't it? You know, the idea of going on stage with complete, with people that don't know who I am, doing like an open spot for free, or even just being um, on stage as a, a paying act, people don't know who I am. And I don't know, I think if I went on and performed to people that knew, well not performed, we just talked to people that kind of follow me anyway or listen to what I do, I think that's probably the best audience for me. Rachel says, you are so talented at talking to yourself. you got no idea. I talk to myself when I'm on my own all the time. I'm in the kitchen actually having conversations that I should have had years ago. Just... I like reenact, and I just, it's weird. Um, I think if I was hearing this, if I was a neighbour hearing me, I perhaps would be a bit concerned for my safety. <laughs> Who is this person? He's talking to himself, and he puts on squeaky voices when he's making his toast. What's he up to? He's so weird. So Rachel, you're the only one talking to me. Who is other people listening or watching on Facebook? On Facebook. Um, thanks, um, uh, Claire. Thank you. That's very kind of you. Cheers. I'll send you a message. Cheers. Uh, 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 uh. I'm trying to look at your Facebook page, but it won't allow me to. That's annoying. Right, before we go any further, I want to send regards and um, lots of love. Maybe you can join me in this one. To Ed Edini. Or Edini, basically. He's out of Portsmouth Regional Hospital. Wow. Let me see how he's getting on. Okay, he's back now. He's there to have a bladder scan. He's out now, but he's actually got leukemia on top of. Well, he's got leukemia. I mean, bl blimey, that's, that's enough, isn't it? But he's also got other health problems as well. But like myself, he's got bipolar, um, diagnosed with that. He's. He's a hypnotist, so check him out on YouTube, Edini, E-D-D-I-N-I. -I. I actually did an interview with him about two years ago. Um, but yeah, he's, he's very unwell at the moment, so I'm wishing him all the best. What is that? Okay, uh, Rachel says, me, me too, but not for a whole hour. What, well, you haven't been to the toilet for a whole hour? What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about, Rigel? Let me see. Okay, Kathleen says hi. Uh, Kathleen Carroll, okay, yee. Um, if anyone wants to... 
So, Cal, I'll, I'll try to be as boring as I can, if you're still listening. Um, does anyone want to know what my stats are? <laughs> That's the uh, the ghost of Andre. <laughs> the stats for today is eleven thousand two hundred sixty-six. There you go. I'm just brushing my teeth, says Carol. You know what I watched today? I don't know if you've ever heard of it. It's Again, I don't know if it's an English thing, or British thing, or if it was a worldwide thing, I don't know. Uh, Captain Pugwash. Now, the reason I looked at it is because, I think it was either on television or it's advertising the new, you know, the new, um, oh yeah, no, what it was, it was on BritBox, Captain Pugwash. Re, um, I don't know, re edited or cleaned up and made to look better. But I noticed the first things is um, the, the live thing just cut out. Captain Pugwash was calling his, the galley boy, or the, the boy that was pretty much doing everything to be fair, including steering the ship. He was calling him a master mates, master mates. And I thought, wait a minute, that's not right. So, and this is the original show. But so they edited it, they edited the audio. So I went on YouTube and I, I found there was like every episode back to back in one video. And it's, <laughs> It's Master Bates in the, in the thing. At one point it says Master Baiting, he calls him. So it's, that's, uh, it's true. It's like, there's, it's one of those things that I hear about, because I don't remember it. When I was a kid, I didn't know what that was. It didn't mean anything to me. Um, But as I got older, like, like early adults, and I'd hear adulthood, and I'd say like, hear stories like Master Bates. Is it was it was, you know, did they really? And especially when you hear like it's, it's masturbating, they clearly were doing it on purpose. You know, it wasn't like an accident. And so what? <laughs> I I said like, I found the original versions of it and it's quite funny it's very silly really silly um, <laughs> it's funny but I couldn't watch too much of it it was just it's it's really a bit well I mean this is like 17 car it's the 70s cartoons but it's not cartoon, it's just cardboard cutouts moving around. I mean, it's not even animation. They're just moving the, you know, it's like a pop-up book with a camera. And just, you know, it's kind of that kind of anima, you know, that kind of thing, I think. I mean, maybe it was animation, but I think it wasn't. But Captain Pugwash. And I don't know, I just thought I'd share that with you. So now the, for those that are, for those watching the video, just point, want to point out, hi Rebecca, just want to, um, um, I'm just talking about master. Um, Pugwash. Uh, so I. I'm just, what was that? <laughs> oh yeah, the camera broke. I think the the connection cut off. Due, you know, a little while ago. So it's it's back again. It was it was off for a couple of seconds. But I was going to say um, the 
the the audio quality is a lot better on a podcast because of this microphone. So the you know just thought I'd let you know let you know no I think this that is this because in the future if anyone's watching this, you know, um, in a year or two, and I think, oh, we missed that, or there's a, there was a gap in the audio. What shall we do? How can we live our lives and not know what was said? Then you can go to the podcast. Um, you can find it. Just if you can, if you know the number, which is four hundred, is it four hundred and twenty-six today? I think. Yes, I'm listening, says Carol. I'm listening. I got into counselling mode there, didn't I? Mmm, I'm listening. Please tell, please continue. I'm listening. You have not pulled me to sleep yet. Oh, come on. How can you go to sleep with this funny face? Looking at you. Go to sleep, go to sleep. <laughs> you imagine someone just staring at you when you're in your bed like, you ain't gonna go to sleep when that's happening, are you? I remember I woke up once and there was this woman, no, but she was my girlfriend, she wasn't was a woman, but she was staring at me. I was really, like, just looking at me. I was like, what are you doing? What are you doing? She said, well, well I was looking at you. I said, why? She said, well, I don't know if you know this or not, but um, when you're asleep, you stop breathing. I said, well, why didn't you wake me up? She said, well, I thought I'd wait until you woke up and tell you. I said, it might have been too late then. Why, well, you know, if I'm not breathing, wake me up. You know, just, mm -hmm, you know. I mean, if I was started to wee in the bed, you'd wake me up, wouldn't you? Yes. Well, that's not as bad as me just not breathing, is it? She didn't agree. She did not agree at all. I didn't get a cup of tea that day. Boston Chicky is in the house. Boston. Oh, um, what was I going to say? I forget. Oh, I was in bed last night and I started fainting while I was asleep. Honestly, I had to get up and eat. I've got, um, an appointment at the doctor's in a couple of days and I've got a double appointment although I'm a bit confused because it looks like it's giving me two different appointments so hey I don't know if I have to have an appointment leave and then just wait for the next appointment maybe I don't know I'm not sure but uh, I've got an appointment two appointments it's a double appointment I thought one is for my back a lower back I need to find out what's going on there so I can get treatment or something. Just, I just want to know now. It's, it's been going on for so long. Secondly, I'm going to get a diabetic test. Because, although I live a very healthy lifestyle, I think it's always good to check things out. When I was in Cornwall, a couple of months ago, I, my friend's mother is diabetic and she was doing her tests, you know, like a blood test thing on a machine, she had a machine and she was pricking her finger and um, I thought, well, can I have a go? 
it's, it was like, you know, you know, you see someone with glasses for the first time. Well, let's try them on. That kind of thing. No one does it with hearing aids, though, do they? You notice that? Like, I'll take the hearing aids out of your ear and I'll put it in my ear. No, no one's ever going to want to do that. No one does it with wheelchairs. Do they? No one does it with crutches. Oh, can I try your crutches? Are you constipated? Or can I try the pads? No. Don't ask someone to try their glasses on. It's a disability, just like anything else. Hearing aids, it's, it's a disability. It's like a person can't see very well. There's a chance if they're wearing glasses, it's because mm, they need the glasses. Don't be like, oh, it's not a game. Not wearing glasses for fun. Unless, of course, they are wearing glasses for fun. Carol says, my husband has a doctor's appointment tomorrow for his lower back. He's been off his work for two days with it. Wow. Well, I hope he's uh, all right. Uh, Michelle Cranky, Steve, hello Cranky, um, hello Cranky, hello Michelle. I thought we've had this conversation before. Hi Michelle. Um, my lower back is, it's not an ink, well, it's been getting worse for over 20 years. So I know it's not an injury, unless of course I did injure it, you know, in my 20s. And now, you know, it's gradually got worse. So there's a chance, I guess, I could have injured it. I don't remember. I remember injuring my upper back. Lifting. I had this job. Um, it's just a temp. I was a temp. And I had a job in snow. So it was snowing. This was when I was in London. And the job was unloading lorries and moving furniture into student accommodation. And I think they were student nurses, but I don't know. I forget, I think. And each room. Michelle says, hi, Jason, just realised you're on. Oh, hi. Yeah, I'm just... This is the second night in a row, Michelle. And I'm recording my podcast and I thought, maybe I'll video me recording the podcast instead of trying to do a big setup of recording and editing and all the stuff that goes in it. I thought maybe I'll just do a live broadcast rather than film it and you know, I don't know. It's a little bit lazy but for on my side but um hmm. I thought maybe, especially things like with YouTube, I could share it on they are. Um, I'm not, you know, it's weird. I think I feel, in some ways I feel more comfortable doing live streams than I do making videos. Does that make sense? This feels more real. I don't know why that is. I guess it's because, um, I don't know. I think with a live stream, I'm okay for it to not be perfect quality, either sound or video. Although with the iPhone, you know, the, the quality of the, the, the video is pretty good. Although the light is fairly low, but I look better. The, the darker it is, the better I look. So there you go. So I don't know if I'll continue, but yeah. So you, you don't miss it, even if you don't see it. You're not really missing anything. Um, but it's just, I just thought I'd just, you know, just do it. Just record myself, recording myself, if that makes sense. Yeah, recording myself, recording myself. Yeah. Darby, 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 Darby. Hi, Darby. Um, I just realised that some people do exactly what I do, is on a live stream, I will just join it, just have a look, and then I leave. But 
they can see that I've joined. But you can't see when people leave. Carol says, uh, gives it the personal touch with the live stream. Okay, I'll do it in her voice. Gives it the personal touch with the live stream. Yes, it does. My name's Carol. <laughs> Thank you very much for listening. I'm in trouble. Imagine if Carol does sound like that. I'm in trouble, and I. It's <laughs> like that's another per. That's that's another person that liked you that now doesn't. <laughs> My name's Carol. I haven't always been nine foot tall. <laughs> um, I don't know how tall she is. So that's the thing. You can, it's only offensive if if. You, if someone's really tall and you know they're tall and you know they've got an issue with it and then you make fun of them being tall now if you've never met anyone and you don't know what they look like and you say oh you make fun of them being nine foot tall they can't take offence because I don't know how tall you people are so there should I do Darby's voice now <laughs> my name's Darby <laughs> hi Five feet one. Oh, that's kind of my favourite height. But hey, I say that to all the women. I don't care if, if I don't care how tall you are. Just, I just want you to touch me. <laughs> I don't care. Five foot one. I like, I quite like shorter women. I think the only reason is because I feel taller. Because I'm, I'm, a, I'm a short ass. I am. I'm only four foot two myself. I'm 5'8", 5'8". Now 5'8 is below average. Or about average. But most people like me are taller. Even if it's only by a couple of inches, you know. 5'9", 5'10". Carol's husband is 6 foot. So blimey. That's all my stomach's rumbling. So that's, that's it. Well, I suppose that could be good in some ways. I don't know. I, don't, I can't think of any. Um, I do sometimes think though, you know, in an emergency, this is something that's happened as I got older, I think. Um, I think if I was to get in a relationship, I want someone a lot smaller than me, just an event of an emergency. <laughs> It's like, I didn't used to think about that stuff when I was younger. And now I'm thinking, what if there was a kitchen fire I needed to get them out of the house? Like, if they're my size, I'm no way am I ever going to be able to move someone my size anywhere. Especially if like they're on the floor, I'd struggle to roll them over. Why would I want to roll them over? What I'm saying, in a, in a first aid situation, that's what I'm, talk that's what I'm talking about. And I have been in a couple of fir uh, first aid situations. And my friend, he collapsed in the bathroom a few years ago. And he's six foot. Now he's not heavy. Well, he is heavy, and he's, he's not, but he's not like my kind of heavy. But even like, it's a dead weight. It's, it's just really hard to move. I don't know what I'm talking about now. It's harder. It's, it's, yeah, I don't know. But it's not for his back. Yeah, all that bending over to to whisper sweet nothings in your ear. Blimey. So every time he wants to whisper a nice romantic poem that he's put together, maybe on his, in his lunch break and stuff at work, he comes home, he's like really excited, he wants to whisper this poem in your ear while you're on the toilet or whatever, I don't know, whatever romantic situation. And that's a strain on his back because I've noticed when I'm whispering it in people, <laughs> Michelle says, sorry, it's very windy here, my connection is dropping out. Well, leave the bathroom then. Finish with what you're doing on the toilet. Then come out here. Won't be so windy. We'll listen to podcasts later on. 
Okay, Michelle. I will talk about you now you're gone. Did I ever tell you about Michelle? No. There was this time, right? Me and Michelle, we went, <laughs> we had a window cleaning business. And uh, it was going quite well. I didn't realise she was a peeping Tom. And that's why she got into the window cleaning business, because she liked looking in people's windows. She loved the windows. So there was her peeking through, and there was me on the other window licking it. So it's kind of, it just didn't work. So anyway. I thought you'd gone. Oh no. You didn't hear that, did you? Oh no, I thought you'd gone. Hearty. Oh, I'm only joking. I'm only joking. Um, I didn't lick. I didn't lick the window. I'm gonna lick the window. Have I ever licked the window? No, I don't think I have. Yeah, I probably have licked a window, but not from the outside. Is it, is it less weird if you lick from the inside of the window? I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know what the rules are anymore. Wow. Isn't it? You know what's really weird? Is when I do these and when I'm videoing it and there's a little bit of, you know, a little bit of uh, conversation going on, you know, a little bit of like a uh, few messages and stuff, the hour goes really, really quickly, like really quickly for me because we're 56 minutes in. Yesterday I ended up doing over 90 minutes but it's getting a bit too late to do that. I don't mean in life, you know. I'm just too old. Yesterday was fine, but I'm too old now. You know, I've got to edit it and upload it and all that stuff. That's another hour. And it's two o'clock in the morning. Here, now I'm going to, as far as I'm concerned, I haven't gone to bed yet, so this is still Monday. I know officially it's Tuesday the 14th, but for me it's still Monday the 13th of September. I wonder what I'm going to sound like when I get my teeth done and I have these big, I want big horsey teeth, like really, when I get my teeth, I'm going, I'm going to get them like really, you know, so they're really big, because I've got little teeth and I look, they're only little, I want big, Juicy teeth. Once, because I know that women love men with big, big teeth. I want to be able to people to know it's for me, from miles away. I want everyone around me to have to wear sunglasses, just to be. Oh, they've got to be really white as well, obviously. Although I was thinking about getting some teeth, but actually having them, so they've already got stains on to get some like blau brown green purple stains because that's going to confuse people so I'll have perfect teeth or um, I don't recall the you know the the like piano keys and I? I don't know what they call them um, so I have perfect brand new teeth but have them already stained but really badly stained because people can be confused, like, it looks like he's had his teeth done. But they're really manky and stained and disgusting. How... You see the heads exploding. So, yeah, it'd be like, I can't, I don't understand, I don't understand. It, it, they look new, but they can't be new. I mean, nobody smokes that much and drinks that much coffee in a week. So, yeah, um... I might do that. <gasps> yeah.
mind you, to be fair, I was going to, one of my, one of my dreams in life was to um, open a restaurant and call it Salmonella. So I'm not sure if all my ideas are really particularly good. Uh, I've got solutions, but unfortunately it's to the wrong things. I've got solutions to problems that people don't care about. Yeah, Yannicka, Yannicka is listening and watching. You know what, if I, if I was a bit more kind of organised, I reckon, if I said, well I'm going to do live stream, every day or Monday to Friday at a certain time then people that listen to the podcast would then or people that are listening now hi everyone I am talking to you you know I'm still talking to you you're not you're just interested in in the video you don't care about us anymore Oh, come on. I never cared about you. <laughs> no, of course I care about you. I love, I love you. You're my world. Um, mm, I especially love it when you're asleep and not talking. I've heard that a few times. When do you love me most? When you're asleep and not talking crap to me. That's my that's really rude something rude to say to someone, isn't it? I mean my last girlfriend not only a girlfriend, but my last intimate interaction and the the person in bed with me called me Andre. It's a true story, that is. Called me Andre. She was in love with Andre. She she liked it more than me. Carol, that's me in bed now. I'm plugged in to my headphones. But I'm about to go, Carol. I'm about to go. I'm sorry. That's why it's... In some ways, this is bad timing, isn't it, for me? I'm not, it's like I'm teasing, I'm teasing, <laughs> no, Carol says, no, if you leave it half an hour, the podcast will be up, so you can listen, if you want to, you can listen to this actual podcast, oh, I'm banging stuff, the podcast will be available in half an hour. Wherever you listen to it. Um, yeah. I'll, I'll like rush it through. Just for you. And then I'll go and do a poo. It's all about rhymes. It's all about the rhymes. Rhymes. So yeah, I'm just yeah, I'm gonna have to go because I have to after I have to do after I have to do lots of after things. Um I have to rethink this because it's not fair, is it? You're just about to listen and I'm going. <sighs> I don't know. I suppose if I did it if I sort of if I I'm trying to get myself or more organised. I'm not the most organised person. I'm trying to get myself more organised. So if I did a live stream like every evening at the same time, lasting for an hour, recording myself doing a podcast, then those people that want to listen or want to watch me live or listen to me live can 
on Facebook and what I possibly could do is I don't know I have to look into this but I'll probably be able to embed this into my website so people could just visit my website at the same time every day and the the broadcast can be on my website at sort of nine o'clock Carol says you have to stay up all night no I don't <laughs> no I don't I'm gonna be up for a while as it is um, I need to eat my stomach's starting to churn so I have to eat something and then but I will I will start uploading this before I eat so I have to edit it or then upload it um, I use my phone and my iPad to upload so to do it takes half the time I'm holding up one hand half the time I suppose until the double two hands is the whole time maybe I don't know I'll think about it let me just think hmm I might try and do it um, maybe 11 to 12 in the evening like every evening but it's UK time so I don't know what time that is in other countries why it's useful unless I did two you know one for people that can listen but then then I'd end up if I wanted to cater for every country that listens then I'd be doing probably six different let me bore you to sleep like live streams live streams but to do it this time of night is quite I mean it's not impossible at all I mean I can but I'm not always awake my days of being up all night which lasted for quite a few years until recently I've just not been awake all night anymore like I used to be I used to be making recordings through the night and sitting up, you know, doing video stuff or doing internet stuff and maybe watching movies or whatever. But I haven't, I haven't done that for a few months. Hmm. I don't know. There's, I'm just thinking is it because I don't have company anymore because I always had someone I had Andre to play with and stuff in between doing stuff and I could but I had him on my lap and stuff but I don't know I think bef even before I had Andre I used to be up during the night sometimes up to six in the morning five six seven in the morning sometimes working on stuff to do with this you know hmm I don't know. I mean, winter's quite a good time of the year to be up all night because it's easier to get sleep during the day during the winter because there's less going on. There's no, there's less people outside mowing their lawn or standing in the garden chatting because the weather is cold and wintry and rainy and, and stuff. As far as I'm concerned, if I'm productive, then I kind of don't care what time of the day or night it is, if I get stuff done. Let me think about it. I don't... Maybe I could do sort of a, like a 12 o'clock podcast. I'll do a 12 o'clock, let me pull you to sleep, midnight, every day. But two o'clock in the morning <laughs> it seems a bit. I, mean, I could do one, one o'clock in the morning, but that seems just a little bit late in the evening. It's very, it's it's late for people. Well, I don't know. I mean, technically, I really should be catering for people in America, predominantly, 
because that's 80% of my audience. However, I do also, you know, have to look after, well, I'm, I'm in England, so I'm, I'm, I'm living English time, Britain's time, you know, time zones. Um, I don't know. I mean, that's the benefit of a podcast is you can listen to it any time, day and night. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's just because it's there, not dependent. I mean, that's the whole thing is why I think streaming, not live streaming, but just being able to stream uh, television, Netflix, stuff like that, is because you're not, we're no longer uh, having to commit to a particular time to watch something. You know, we're not stuck. Our, you know, pretty much you haven't got to say, oh, I can't do something because I want to watch the last episode of this drama I'm watching and it's on at 8.30 in the evening and I'm not going to go out, I don't want to miss it. Now, you just stream the stuff. It's... I know, obviously, that stuff's ha still happening. Television's still doing that. But then, a lot of places, you've got catch-up, so you can watch it afterwards. But, I guess there's still something quite nice about live stuff. Maybe. Mm, maybe. Mm, I don't know. I'm sure people just want to watch me do videos do this just so you can watch me get older and older and older you know 10 years time I'll be 61 or 9 years time I'll be 60 and I'll be like oh, welcome to jasonnewland.com mm, this is let me boy to sleep episode 94,312 Oh, weird. What the hell? What will I have to talk? But what will I have to talk about for an hour? But then I think, well, I've done seven hundred and twenty-six recordings of this podcast, and I'm still talking for an hour about nothing. About nothing. I mean, it's nothing. I've said nothing the whole hour. I've said seventy-two minutes of nothing. I mean, you know, some some can say, well, that's a, that's a skill. I don't want that skill. I want to be good at something that people respect. I mean, I give it all up for a bigger willy. I mean, I want to be able to, I want to be good at something, you know, like um, a ballet dancer or good at. I'm trying to think of something that I'd like to be good at, but I can't think of anything. Boxing probably, but I'm I'm old now, so I'm too old for that. To be good at something that people admire, I guess like a writer or uh, a musician or I don't know, architect maybe. I don't know, just to be really good at something, but I'm not. I've got no skills. I've got no I can talk rubbish <laughs> for an hour. Now, I like to... I don't know who sent me all those uh, things. Thank you. Rachel's back. Um, Rachel's back. She keeps saying, stop saying that. What about me front? Stop it, Rachel. Stop being pervy. Ra um, Debbie. Hi. I can't see the surname. But hi, Debbie. Hi. She says, hi, Jason. Hi. Can't see. And who says this? So I, I've got a couple of people online that are kind of that I know in real life. Only a couple. Uh, I've got hardly any like any of the like friends and family. I kind of got rid of everyone a few years back. They didn't like it. They they took it personally, but I tried to explain to them that. I just don't like them. <laughs> no, I try to explain to them. It's not personal. I'm just what I'm doing is this. You know, is this isn't really 
a family thing. It's not for the family or for friends. It's people in real life, you know, then because they're not interested in what I'm doing, so I don't want to bombard them with videos and stuff, you know, that they're not interested in. So I kick them, when it kick them all off, I just block them. <laughs> oh, sounds bad, doesn't it? But yeah. Hi, Riley. So hi, Debbie. Hi, Riley. You're all coming on now. Now I'm about to go. It's not fair. It's not fair. Why? Leave me alone. I want to go home. I've got to go. I've got to go, man. By the way, if you see my arm going like that, I'm, it's nothing weird. I'm just tapping my belly button. Riley says, good evening. It's still pretty early for me. What time is it there? It is 2.25 a.m. So, yeah. I was just thinking maybe I need to do like an American let me boy to sleep. If I did, a, if, if I was going to do a live stream for the American, my American audience, which is 80% of my audience, according to uh, Apple Podcasts. No, Riley says there's a time I normally record. No, nor more recently I've been doing these about 11 o'clock, but I don't normally, um, Riley says that would be, that'd be lovely. Yeah, thanks. I, I don't think the world could handle two, two hours. Ooh. If only there was a time zone that could fit both, you know, that could like be ha be please pleasing for both UK and America, but also Australia and New Zealand and uh, Canada. And you know, it's like, because parts of Europe generally it's fairly close time zones in Europe. So, you know, maybe a couple of hours difference, that's about it, as far as I know. But in America, I think seven hours difference in Australia, what is it, 12 hours difference. 24 hours, no, if it's 24 hours difference, it'd be the same, wouldn't it? 12 hours difference. Canada, I don't know. I guess similarish time zone to America, but I might be wrong. I don't know. So yeah, I'd. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, it will give people who listen to the podcast an opportunity to join in on the live stream. So I guess that'll be pretty cool. Uh, yeah, yeah, mind you, oh, Debbie says it's, it's what, 30 a.m., it's apostrophe, apostrophe, 30 a.m. here in Aussie. I don't know what, what that is. Oh, 11. Did I, is it apostrophe? Is that the right word? I think it is. 11.30 a.m. Um, yeah. It's not bad, though. I mean, you think about it. If I do recording at 11, that would be, what, about 7 in the morning? Eight o'clock in the morning. So, I guess it depends. It depends what you're listening, why you're listening. If you're listening because you want to go to sleep, I know, you know, 
sleep is in the, the title. But I know, I've been told, that not everybody listens to go to sleep. They listen for different reasons. So, I guess, what was that noise? I just heard a dog barking. Either that was someone downstairs shouting, shut up, it's 2.30 in the morning. Hmm. Oh well. I want to go. I have to go. Let me think on. I'm going to think on. See what I can come up with. So thank you for listening. Remember everybody. Remember to be kind to yourself. Yeah. Do something nice for yourself. Because you deserve to be happy. You, 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 all of you. I'm pointing, I'm pointing right at you. Let's take care. Lots of love. Bye.